What's going on, Port Fan? Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today, we'll be previewing Port Adelaide's China Clash against Gold Coast for round nine this weekend. So let's get into it and see what this game looks like it's going to bring for the week ahead. After a remarkable showdown 44, Port Adelaide will be looking for one thing this weekend against Gold Coast, and that's consistency. After being troubled with this uh, big word as it is, consistency, this year so far, two in a row looks good on the card. Six and three going into the bye. This is what Port Adelaide will be aiming for. And Gold Coast will be looking to bounce back after a shocking victory, a shocking loss against Melbourne last week. So we look into it a bit more. This game has a little bit more to offer than we think. It's obviously in Shanghai, Jungwon Stadium this Saturday afternoon, 2.45 p.m. South Australian time. It's a game that simply Port Adelaide have to win and win comfortably. You can look at it as a percentage booster for Port Adelaide as such if they get this game going. But on the other hand, we want the Chinese, we want everyone in Shanghai to experience a good game of football and showcase exactly what um, AFL footy is all about. So if this game turns out to be a great game at the contest and you know Port Adelaide end up winning the game, it's fine either way. I think it's just a game that Port Adelaide need to win, as is every week. It put, it's a little bit more on the line, especially with this is Port Adelaide's adventure. This is what they're aiming for. They want to broaden the game, take it out further, and really branch out into other markets. So it's a very important game for Port to win and win well. But Gold Coast don't want to roll over easy like they did last year. They don't have Sam Day this week, Gold Coast. They will have Sam uh, Stephen May. Um... But, yeah, they've taken over Peter Wright this week. Looks to be like he might get a go just as an extra tool for Gold Coast. Um, so Port Adelaide will be looking to match that up quite well in the defence um, area and really control the game from the middle like they did last week against the Crows. It's a game that will be tested early. The first half might be a bit more clinical, um, where the second half we saw last year a lot more fatigue come into play and Port Adelaide had that lead too big, so... Um, the game sort of died out in its excitement and all that. The big word is consistency and post-showdown form for Port Adelaide does worry this game a bit. Um, don't have a too good a record playing after the showdown port, but that's in the past this week. It's a big game, big build-up for uh, everyone in Shanghai. Um, and I really feel that this post-showdown form will be a thing of the past, especially if Port Adelaide are trying to prove that they have come into this year improved. Another thing as well, I feel like Port with um, this week being in Shanghai, they've taken 26 players over there, including Amon, Barry, Trango, and McKenzie as those four emergencies. But I feel this week that they will go in unchanged into this game after a good week last week. Um, no injuries, no suspensions or anything like that as we speak. Obviously, I'm filming this pre-selection, so... Um, yeah, the, I don't see any changes happening for Port. A couple maybe happen for Gold Coast because they have had such a poor run with injuries and also suspension. So a few changes might happen for the Suns there. Um, but yeah, this is a game that Gold Coast will be trying to, you know, they may not win, but put up a fight, show that, you know, Shui Ju's got this team, um, has improved this team, and they aren't just a rollover bottom six team that we all think they're going to be by the end of this year. We want a good game of footy in Shanghai, but then us as Port fans really want Port to win comfortably and really get our percentage up and about. So um, the last time these two teams met in Shanghai, Port Adelaide did that. They won by 72 points um, in a very, what was an interesting game. It was a sluggish game as such as the fatigue sat in uh, really early in the game and you know the skills weren't at its um, greatest. But nonetheless, it was a good game of footy for Port fans, and we did end up winning. So, And then the time after that, back at Adelaide Oval, Port Adelaide ended up beating Gold Coast by 115 points, 135 to 20, which was Gold Coast's lowest score um, in their history, which is about seven years old. So I think with this week as well, we saw Robbie Gray last year play against the Gold Coast Suns a bit more in the, mid, uh, a bit more in the forward line. I think that will happen this week again with his great six-goal performance last week, five goals in a quarter. You've got to play Rockley four, uh, in the middle um, with Power Pepper, Wines, Boak, Pollock, all around the stoppages. It really builds that character. And Ebert as well as the tackling machine, it will really put a threat to the Gold Coast midfield, which is already thin as it is. Um, and no Sam Day, as I said, for the Gold Coast Suns will really help 
um, our structure as well. He's a really potent um, player for Gold Coast and having Stephen May, but no Lynch, um, no Day as well. It's going to be a very, uh, very struggle, very tough struggle for Gold Coast going forward. Yeah, and as I was saying, just to touch on, this game is a very important game for Port Adelaide as a club and as the players and the team as well. But as a club, you got all these fans traveling over. You got Craig from the Portraits Podcast who's traveling over um, as a representative for the podcast. Um, all these people traveling over um, and really ready to experience what um, Shanghai's got to offer as an AFL experience, but also as a cultural experience. So joining those two together will really be is a really important aspect of this whole adventure itself. So it's going to be very interesting to see how this game pans out. Um, and it's supposed to be around the 25, 26 degree mark as well. So perfect game, perfect weather for footy um, in Shanghai. Maybe a little bit humid, but let's hope um, this game of footy turns out to be an absolute ripper because we need one and Gold Coast need to be competitive because they will risk not going in 2019. You can see it on the, the writings on the wall. If they really want to do this adventure with us um, in Shanghai, they need to be competitive this year. And they're not offering that at the moment in their other games. We don't know what will happen this weekend. And they just need to be that bit more competitive um, on the field. You know, Gold Coast, they're an established team now. Seven years, they need to prove something as a club and really get their fans excited for what's to come in the future. So, the two, ty- two sides meeting, Port Adelaide, Gold Coast. They've met nine times. Gold Coast winning the first venture in 2011. Since then, Port Adelaide have won all eight contest between them um prediction for this week i feel like port adelaide will get the job done quite comfortably 51 points i'm tipping they'll win by um in what will be a very clean and good showcase for afl footy from a port adelaide's perspective um hopefully it's competitive early but it can blow out a bit and get our percentage up and we'll keep gold coast to a tight net score um and just quickly to touch on the magpies they play west adelaide this week at alberton oval two o'clock on sunday afternoon uh this is a must-win game i feel for the maggies they really are struggling um with all the talent that we've taken into the afl side no lena as well um mckenzie's gone over as an emergency for port um into china so Really struggling for tools with only Laddams and Frampton. Hayes as well. A three tall ruck with no key forward. So it's going to be interesting to see um, how they pan out. And it's a crunch game, but I feel like they'll win. 17 points against the hapless West Adelaide, who are bottom of the ladder. Um, so that will be good for the Sample point of view. This game will be an absolute beauty, though. Shanghai, it's always a great spectacle. And I have a lot of thousand support fans travelling over. It's going to be a great game to watch and a great game to witness if you're there. And for us here back in Adelaide watching TV, I think Port will get the job done. Alrighty, Port fans, thank you very much for tuning in this week and everyone on Spreaker as well. Thank you very much for listening. So if you didn't know already, on Port Fan Radio through Spreaker, the pair is on there for the all reviews and previews. So tune in through that if you can't watch. Um, and subscribe to the channel if you're new for plenty more Port Adelaide content. It's every week, round by round, reviews, previews, vlogs, and meeting up with players as well. It's going to be a great spectacle in China this weekend, so make sure you tune in, Fox Footy, 2.45, Saturday afternoon. Port Adelaide take on Gold Coast. Portraits podcast as well. Craig is over in China, so tune in on the page for a lot of live feeds as well as our podcast that happened last night, 8 p.m. every Wednesday night. Thank you very much for watching, Port fans. My name is Anthony, and as per usual, can't appear.